guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Son of Liberty. So this video has been a long time coming. Um, I've been going through some life changes, some medical issues, moving, massive floods, multiple tornadoes, uh, COVID-19. It seems like if everything, if anything could have went wrong, it's went wrong in 2020. Now, fast forward, we have uh, just civil unrest across the country, riots, those types of things. So there's a lot of things going on. So although I wish that this video had been released sooner, perhaps maybe there's more benefit to this video being released now uh, versus before. So with that being said, guys, uh, this is kind of almost a forewarning. A lot of you guys may be looking at this video um, in hopes that I will be able to tell you what is the most comfortable holster that Tier 1 makes for you. Uh, and here's the reality. I, I can't actually tell you that, okay? Um, and so if you're kind of looking for that one holster uh, to kind of rule them all, um, unfortunately, there's not a Lord of the Rings um, holster, if you will, okay? So uh, anyway, just kind of that forewarning. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to kind of give you guys some feedback based on the months and months of carrying and the years of carrying some of these holsters, um, that kind of feedback, give you guys feedback based on what I have seen other people uh, respond to, how the holsters work for them based on their body types, um, and just other industry uh, information that I've been gathering over the multiple months that I've kind of been uh, filling my head with information to give you guys to hopefully be able to determine what is the best holster for you? All right, guys, so first up is the Tier 1 Concealed Aegis Holster. Now, if you guys have been following my account or following me on Instagram, then you guys will know that I have years of experience running this particular configuration of holster. So let's talk about some of the pros of this particular setup. Um, it has a wider base, okay? This particular holster is the widest of all the holsters. Um, now, I always run light bearing holsters. This is going to be very important to kind of keep in mind because we are talking about lights, all right? The Tier 1 Concealed Aegis Holster with the Surefire X300 might be a millimeter or two millimeters longer in width, okay? But just to keep in mind, the light bearing Aegis holsters are going to be the widest holsters that they make, okay? So I believe that if you have more of a tactical tummy. Uh, my tactical tummy tends to fluctuate uh, depending on the time of the year, uh, but if you have a larger stomach, this holster might benefit you a little bit better because it is wider, so it's going to conform more to the belly, okay? Next, I want to talk about versatility. So if you are an individual that let's say typically runs bags, a vertex bag for example, this is probably going to be a big benefit for you for the simple fact that you can actually break this apart, okay? And you can run, let's say, the holster in a particular position inside your vertex bag and then your magazine carrier in a different uh, location. So if you have ever ran a vertex bag, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's not really advantageous to kind of run them side by side because of as you kind of pull the bag around and you go for your gun, typically your gun is going to be more advantageous to be in a separate area inside the bag versus the magazine. So this gives you the ability so that you can kind of position them how you see fit and what is going to work best for you. Next up. If you are the type of person that uh, basically changes your attire on a regular basis, this one also might be a, a bigger benefit for you. The reason being is that this gives you the ability, the ability, if you want to take this claw off, okay, I don't think it's going to very, uh, it's going to work very well if you leave the claw on, but you can take this claw off, just put your screws back in. This gives you the ability, let's say for example, you're going to run a, a, a button down shirt or button up shirt, a tie, you're going to tuck that in, okay, but you want to run, you're going to run a blazer jacket for example. Um, you're going to run this on the strong side, then you can run this on your support side, okay, so that that way you can still wear your blazer, still have access to your additional magazine as well as your gun. Okay, and let's say the next day you're going to go back to jeans and a t-shirt, switching back over to appendix, 
you don't have to buy a separate holster for you know both configurations. These magazine uh, clips or these clips are tuckable. Okay, so this does give you the ability to actually tuck a shirt or some type of material down inside uh, of the clip and the holster. Um, it's just something that's never traditionally worked well for me when it comes to concealment. Um, and I've got a lot of back issues, so I'm not able to really exercise or uh, carry a lot of weights um, or stand on my feet very long. So I, I kind of really struggle with uh, fluctuating in weight. Uh, and so because of that tactical tummy, I have a little bit harder of a time uh, tucking a, a dress shirt in and wearing this appendix. It's just something, again, that doesn't work well for me, uh, but it may work well for you. All right, guys, so next up, we're going to be talking about the Axis, okay? Now, I'll never forget the first time that I got this holster in, how blown away that I was at how much more concealable I felt the Axis was versus the Aegis. So what is the main differences between these two systems other than the way that they actually um, join the two pieces of Kydex? Well, you know, for, for example, the Aegis has the button system, okay? Um, and because of the button system, uh, the button system adds length to the Aegis holster, okay? So it's going to make it longer, all right? So when that is folded um, or bent, it adds more of an arch, okay? So more of a... Uh, type of shape, if you will. That's why I stated that I believe it works better with maybe if you have a larger stomach, okay? Where the axis uses uh, shock cordage in the center, it actually creates more of a hinge system, okay? I do believe that because this has a shorter width, okay, um, I believe that it works better for skinnier, taller, longer torso type of individuals, okay? Um, at least that has been the experience that I have seen. The reason, and one of the reasons that it worked uh, better for me is because I run a, Vic, a Vickers Tactical Takedown Tool on all of my Glock 19s. It is just something that I just, I won't compromise on. It's something that feels really good for me uh, in my hand, the way that I grip the gun and the size of my hands, okay? Um, so with that being said, this is adding an additional half of an inch to the width or to the length of my actual grip. And as you know, this is generally what is always going to print. If it's not this, it's the magazine for you, okay? So one of the two is generally what's going to give you away when it comes to printing, all right? So um, that is where I feel that that is the biggest benefit uh, for this particular setup. In addition, I'm one of the individuals that likes to use what's called the pinch method for overcoming the garment to get the gun up into the fight, okay? There is a shorter distance between the magazine and the actual gun itself for the um, axis than there is the Aegis. Now, because the Aegis has a larger and wider gap, I am not as successful in using the pinch method. And the reason being is the further that you position this magazine carrier away from the gun, okay, the garment that's laying over top of it will start to fill in that gap and lay against your body, okay, which is not what I want. With this configuration and it being closer to the gun, as the garment lays against it, it creates an air pocket, okay, which gives me that ability to pinch the garment in between these two, and I feel like I am much more successful at doing that on a much, much, much higher percentage rate, okay? So I do have to change my um, draw from the axis to the Aegis. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind if you're really uh, a stickler on how you actually draw uh, or overcome your garment uh, per se. And finally, the Axis Elite. All right, so guys, who would I recommend the Axis Elite to? Uh, I would recommend the Axis Elite to anyone who is extremely active. Um, maybe if you have had previous issues with concealment of the magazine itself. Um, and I will say this, it seems that the individuals who have the hardest time concealing uh, magazines, in my experience and the people that I've interviewed, have all been very physically fit individuals, uh, crossfitters, um, people that have a lot of core strength, okay? Uh, my 
belief is is that as you build up your your core muscles, um, you start your abdominal wall um, almost has more of a rounded type of um, uh, an, an angle. It's I'm really not sure how I need to word it to to make it make sense, but. If you look at the anatomy of the human body and how the abdominal wall uh, ends up changing its shape um, as you start to build up really um, core, if let's take a, a look at a let's say a bodybuilder, you know most of them their abs aren't their stomach isn't just straight flat. There is a an oval shape to it, okay, a curve to their their stomach muscles and I believe that that is the reason why that they have problems concealing the magazine uh, itself or for whatever reason your body type is you cannot conceal the magazine this one is going to be great because it has a concealment wedge built into the magazine carrier itself the other reason I would recommend this for super super active people is because see this v-shaped uh, notch here in the center of the uh, the magazine uh, or the holster itself You'll also notice there's less um, shot cordage, there's less material here, okay, versus the axis. So if we take a look at the axis side by side, you'll notice that there's a big difference. Uh, there's more shot cordage here. The material itself comes up much higher on the actual holster itself over the axis. And the reason being is because this lends to its flexibility inward okay and that's going to come into play as your left if you're right-handed if your left leg comes up super super high uh, maybe you're climbing up a ladder um, you're climbing into uh, you know a large truck you know the back uh, you know the bed of the truck whatever the case may be that's where kind of that comes into play um, so that's just something to keep in mind Another benefit to the Axis Elite is you get the ability to actually change the position of your wedge, all right? Now, I found this to be a benefit to me because I was able to move the wedge up in its highest position, so I made more contact with the inside of my belt line. Now, I will say this. After years of running the Aegis and then switching to the Axis and then running the Axis for probably close to a year, okay? Switching to this one, uh, when I first put this holster on, it was actually odd feeling to me. It took me a while to get used to the feel of this particular holster, okay? Um, this one is just, it, it has a different form, if you will. One of the things that I did notice is that when I started to try the concealment wedges, and if you're not familiar with those, Tier 1 Concealed Release Concealment Wedges. This was something that the public had been wanting for a long time, so they finally released these. Um, and I actually put a concealment wedge on the back of mine. Now, you'll notice that I kind of shaved it down, okay? Um, I didn't need, I was running a medium or a small on this one. I didn't need a whole lot. Uh, but as I started to shave it down, I kind of made some mistakes because I'd never done it before. Um, and I kind of messed it up. However, the little bit that was left was just enough uh, for me to make it feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, so there was just a little bit uh, a uncomfortable spot in my abdominal wall that this was uh, making contact against and putting pressure on. Um, that this just gave it that cushion that I needed. So it wasn't a, a huge deal, but it was just something I was looking for for that all-day comfort. And lastly, if you're one of the people that really, really, really likes the click, the click, um, the Axis uh, Elite is going to offer you that as well. Now, on any of the previous models, I've never been able to achieve the click. Um, it's just, you know, I put the gun in and there's no audible sound, okay? Um, another thing I will forewarn you guys is that when you get your Axis Elite, one of the biggest things that I noticed uh, versus my previous models is that the holster itself seemed much looser, okay? So the retention was very, very loose. One of the things that I will say is that the mouth opening on the Axis Elite is larger than the previous models. So you have a little bit more what I call room for air when it comes to reholstering the gun. Okay, and because the mouth is larger, okay, 
um, you, in a sense, have more of ability to run the holster a lot looser, if you will, um, if you're looking for that really fast draw. Again, that's not important to you know everyone, but it may be important to you for whatever reason, okay? So again, just food for thought. I was able to tighten mine up to the point that it made it very difficult for me to actually get this thing out, but I had to kind of fine tune it, and it did take me a little while to find that perfect uh, retention that I was looking for. Alrighty guys, so that's going to conclude this video review today. Um, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. And I do apologize for the length of the video. I was kind of persuaded not to do this. However, with the limited time capacity that I have right now with work and my other volunteering activities, um, I just had to make a decision and go with it. I'm currently working on changing up my setup here uh, to be a lot more professional, so I'll be shooting a lot of this more raw stuff for the time being until I can kind of get everything set up how I want it. Guys, uh, if you are looking to purchase a uh, holster from Tier 1 Concealed, uh, I'm going to add a link down below in the video description. Please consider using that. Uh, full disclosure, I'm an affiliate now with Tier 1 Concealed, so for every uh, a purchase that you make they make a small donation to my YouTube channel and I can promise you that every bit helps when it comes to production cost and as always guys I want to thank you for your continued support uh, you guys are the reason that I continue to keep doing this and until that next video guys take care be safe